In terms of editing clips that have come from a mobile phone, uh, I thought that by way of demonstration I'd show you that you can indeed apply any of the available effects or transitions to those clips in the same way that you can with the highest quality clips. And what we have here is a couple of clips that I have already pulled in from my Nokia mobile phone. Now these are a lower resolution than the sort of stuff that you could expect to see coming in from a camcorder whether standard def or high def, but you can be creative with this stuff and it might be that you want to pull stuff in, do something creative with a whole range of clips and then export them up to YouTube or even send them back to a mobile phone and bounce them over to somebody else as an attachment to text message or something like that, as a multimedia message. Bearing in mind of course that this stuff is going to have a file size consideration, but irrespective of that it's something that you can do and you can do it fairly easily so let's have a look at what we can do with these two clips I've got two clips here one of which I've applied a slow-mo to already and that's this first one and you can see by the resolution here that it's a little bit choppy the clips are relatively small in size and I've applied them direct from the import to the timeline in their original format which is MPEG-4 so this compressed format plus lower resolution means that the pictures are going to look a slight, slightly more blocky than a, a, a video clip from a, what I might call a traditional camcorder. Okay, but bearing that in mind, we can still do interesting things with them. And one of the things that we can do is that we can actually apply keyframe effects to these in the same way as you've seen keyframe effects being uh, applied to video clips in other um, tutorial modules in this series. So what I'm going to do is with this clip highlight that clip and go to edit um, and effects. Well I've got the effects up already um, and let me just find something up here which might be uh, of interest. Um, I'm going to apply a, a, a blur to this clip uh, and in fact I'm going to apply a blur to each of the clips but let's pay attention to the first one. Now this is the uh, fast blur effect within the blur and sharpen uh, toolkit here. So having applied it to this clip, let's go edit effects and you can see that it's been applied here already. Now I've already removed, but it's still there. So obviously we can soften that up by merely putting a, a transition in and obviously the most appropriate transition in that situation would be our good old favorite, the cross dissolve. Now you can see that by uh, applying the cross dissolve onto the, the cut, it will now apply to the right hand side of the cut and the reason for that is that the clip on the left has had some modification work done to it. So what I need to do is to right click on that, show properties and come up here and say center at cut. And now what it does is it puts it on the center point and what I can do is now just extend the duration of that transition like so to make it a slower dissolve from one to another. And now I'm going to play it again. Here we go. Plays down into the dissolve, over the blur, and then into the next shot. And we can't see anything. So that's the effect of putting a transition over a blur and then an unblur transition on the end and the beginning of two consecutive shots. And all that's been done with a couple of clips that were shot with a mobile phone.